Hello everyone, welcome to Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Wahongachana and you're tuned in to Friday, the 21st of October 2022, Sarapsudi Reading. Today's title is The Call to Fellowship. While you're still at that, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you turn the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Make sure that you also like, share, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Now let's get back to the Rhapsody reading. The opening scripture is 1 John chapter 1, verse 3, which reads as follows. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Pastor says, without fellowship, without fellowship, nothing you do on earth is esteemed in heaven. That's why the highest and most important purpose of Christ in the plan of salvation is the call to fellowship, bringing us into fellowship with God. It's not enough that you are born again. What God really wants is fellowship with you. That's the purpose of the new birth. You can love your two-year-old child very much, but you can't have real fellowship with him or her. Real fellowship entails communication, sharing, talking at higher levels where you understand each other and exchange thoughts. This is the kind of fellowship God has called us into. When John said that ye also may have fellowship with us, he wasn't talking about conversation from a certain religion to Christianity. It's a, it's a declaration of truth. We have been called into partnership and togetherness with deity. It's the fellowship of the God kind, a oneness of spirit. Hallelujah. The Bible says God is faithful by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9. We are in union with Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 8 verse 16 to 17 explains it further. It says, The Spirit himself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, and if children, then heirs, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. The underlined portion shows the kind of union we have with him. He brought us to the same level with himself. This is, this is mind-blowing. But you see, you can't function at that, at that high level of oneness and fellowship except through the Holy Spirit. Your desire should be to fellowship more with the Holy Spirit every day. Now let's take today's prayer. Please raise your hands and say, Dear Father, thank you for the privilege of being in fellowship, in oneness of spirit with you. As a result of this relationship, every limit and barrier is taken off my way. I experience nothing but progress in my life. Your glory and wisdom function in me and through me in an overflowing measure, I ex and I experience unprecedented manifestations of your power through fellowship of the Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. For further studies, we are reading 1 John chapter 1, verse 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 14, and Second Peter chapter 1, verse 4. If you're on the one-year Bible reading plan, today we're reading First Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 16, and Jeremiah chapter 9 to chapter 10. If you're on the two-year Bible reading plan, today we're reading Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19 to 39, and Ezekiel chapter 20. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's Rhapsody reading. Please meet us tomorrow for tomorrow's message. 
Thank you.